Chris, why are you always trying to beat the system? Because if I, I can save watch. some money, then why not? But 90% of the time, it ends up costing me more when I try and sneak bags on. Yeah, terrible. The best part about Air Asia flights to Thailand is always the menu. I think I've showed you guys that before this menu, but look, they got fried fish filet with an egg on there. They got boba tea. When you come to Thailand, you never want to leave. And then every other place you get to, you're like, yeah, this is nice, but this is in me. Thailand. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm leaving Tokyo, Japan, and it's actually raining, and it's 4.50 in the morning. We're here to catch the first metro bright and early because our flight leaves from Narita Airport, which is actually about 60 kilometers outside of the city center. Now, we just got done getting pretty wet, walking in the rain about half a mile to the station, but we had to do what we had to do. We left it umbrellas at our in our old room yesterday when we checked out but man this is the emptiest i've ever seen a train station in japan we haven't woken up early at all this trip well we waking up at like 6 30 but not um this early around 6 30 if you come to the metro 7 a.m it's already super busy now right now we're heading down to the a line supposedly it's already um Man, I can barely talk this morning. Supposedly, it's already running. Let's hope, fingers crossed. But today, we're heading to my favorite country in the world. Where are we going, Gladys? Thailand. We're going to Thailand. I'm so excited to be heading back there. In fact, I'm heading back there again at the end of July for a group trip. But right now, I'm heading over there because one of my best friends is there at the moment. We're, we're about to meet up and enjoy a few weeks in Thailand. Gladys is on her way to find the mango sticky rice, as well as a massage. She's gonna go get her nails done tonight. All of the things that she loves about Thailand. Now, hopefully, we can find an elevator down to the subway because this damn bag weighs 30 kilos. We actually only packed one bag for the two of us this trip and a carry-on. But this one here weighs 30 kilos and I actually had to pay $75 for this bag yesterday on Air Asia. But um, Air Asia is one of those tricky airlines. If you don't book your bag before at the airport, they only allow you 15 kilos and they charge you about 70 bucks. Uh, then they charge you another $10 for every kilo after that. All right guys, well, here we are at the subway station. I'll see you guys once we make it downstairs because these steps are absolutely brutal. So it turns out we actually have to walk across the street for the elevator. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm not carrying this heavy ass bag down the steps. The last thing I want is to pull something in my back like I did a few months ago because that hurt and it took forever to recover from. All right. Let's hope the elevator is working. Now. We got quite lucky. It did rain a few days this trip, but not as much as, as everybody had told us it was gonna rain. And we were able to actually get a lot done, film a lot of great videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the Japan series. All right, this is 8-3. But I don't see the elevator. Where's the elevator? Oh no. Man. All right, we're carrying the bag. We're carrying the bag. So when we made it down here to the ticket booth, I actually had to go and get cash because you can't pay with card, man. The metro system in, T in Tokyo makes no sense because you can't pay with credit card and tourists actually can't buy uh, the 72 hour pass without going to certain stations too, which sucks. All right, I think it's terminal two and three and you want to know what the worst part about the ATM was, guys? You literally have to withdraw 10,000. It won't let you withdraw anything less. So I had to withdraw 80 US dollars. Please wait for your turn. Crazy. Oh, man. But all right, the mission's Please done. Sure Hopefully we make it there on time because that just took a, long, a, lot of, a lot of time. And we left early for a reason.
Well, getting here to the airport was actually quite smooth, but man, it did take a while. We actually jumped off of a train because one of the person or somebody that was sitting next to us on the first train told us that there was actually a Narita Sky train that's a lot faster. But I think we would actually made it to the airport faster if we just stayed on the original train, even with all the stops, because we ended up waiting 30 minutes for the Sky train to pull up and then another 40 minutes on that one to get here. But we made it. We're in Terminal 2. This here is where our flight's gonna be taking off from today. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna put the camera down now. I'm gonna get the bags checked in and then we'll make our way over to our gates. And hopefully we have enough time for a little coffee break before we start today's journey. I believe the flight is six and a half hours. I didn't realize it was that long from Japan to Thailand. I thought we were a lot closer than that. But we're here in good time. It's 7.13 and the flight leaves at 9.15. So two hours prior. I've definitely been to the airport. Um, a lot closer time to my departure than this. So we're good. Here we go. Terminal 2. International departures. Why are you dancing around so much? It's so early. Because we are closer to Thailand. Thailand, Thailand is amazing. <laughs> you need to go to sleep and wake up again. She has way too much energy to be up at 4.50 in the morning. International departures. Third floor. All right. Gladys actually is going to miss Tokyo because she's going to miss Dance Dance Revolution. Show me your favorite combo, Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> oh, man. Yesterday we spent our last evening at the Sega building playing Dance Dance Revolution and a couple of other little old school games and of course we went and stuffed our face with sushi. What else do you do on your last evening in Tokyo? All right, well. Think about Thailand and get a Thai massage, a food massage, a head massage, a scalp massage, a hair massage, a hand massage. A soapy massage. A soapy massage. <laughs> oh man, this girl's crazy. Alright, we're gonna get these bags checked in and I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh man, this terminal is nice. Alright, we gotta look for Air Asia. Air Asia. We're in line now, so we were actually very rushed, man. If we would have missed the first train that we jumped on, we would have missed the flight. We wouldn't be going to the happiest place on earth, which is not Disneyland. That's Thailand. This land of Yeah, for adults. But yeah, this is our flight. It actually looks like a full flight. We're actually in the back, well, like the middle of the plane, 29F. And the flight is six hours and 45 minutes. But we did order noodles last night. She has pad caprao coming. I have chicken and teriyaki rice. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, let's hope that this goes extremely smooth. I'm going to try and get as much work done as possible. And that way when I get to Thailand, I can just relax and not have to touch the computer for a few days. All right. Let's see if we can get on in there. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. So that's going to be our plane today. We got a big Thai flag, Air Asia. Now, Air Asia. Honestly, it's not as terrible as what people say. It is terrible though, if you don't book your bags before, if you don't pay for them, and if you try to sneak them on, like I try and do 90% of the time, to be honest with you guys. Then you make it to the counter. They always weigh your bags. They always stick them in the tiny little box, and you're always gonna end up paying just a lot more expensive at the gate. I mean, yesterday, yeah, I booked one bag for $75 for 30 kilograms and another one for 50. However, every time I try and take this bag, that uh, weighing more than the seven kgs that they allow for carry-on they always screw me so as long as you do it the right way it's definitely not the worst airline now gladys always asked me chris why are you always trying to beat the system because if are i can save rush? some money now why not but 90 percent of the time it ends up costing me more when i try and sneak bags on yeah terrible close time and it does it kills a lot of time as well you know what? I'm kind of glad we're leaving Japan right now, though. Rain, rainy weather oh, is just not my cup of tea, but it turns out that it's actually a rainy season in Thailand right now, but we were there during rainy season last year. I don't actually, care. I can take massages under the rain. 
True. You, you remember this time last year we were in Thailand and rainy season in Thailand is like an hour out of the day it pours. And it didn't rain at all. Yeah, it barely rained. Alright, boarding the flight now. See you guys in a few hours in the happiest place on earth. You know, the best part about Air Asia flights to Thailand is always the menu. I think I've showed you guys it before this menu, but look, they got fried fish fillet with an egg on there. They got boba tea. Oh my god! More fried fish fillet. Wow, it even tells you the five benefits of tilapia. So I'll tell you the first one. Don't eat it. Throw it away. I will tell you the benefit of traveling to Thailand. You'll be happy. <laughs> chicken lasagna this is the thai basil with rice that we ordered for gladys i actually ordered this meal no that's not thai basil chicken that's pad kapow please then we got some iced coffees lemonade mango sticky oh rice oh my god did we order mango sticky rice no because we're gonna have a good one when we get off the plane no i truly 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 need to start my journey in thailand with a thai massage a mango stick rice a cup of noodles from lotus and also a little walk around at jod first please. yeah 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 true we'll do that as soon as we get back okay awesome. especially because we're staying in the old area but look they also got ramen we're staying in the area that we always stay in when we go to when we go to thailand I'm gonna go say hi to all my besties. Yeah, all From of the nail salon, the Alright, <laughs> time to go. Alright, so the meals just came out. This here is my chicken teriyaki with rice. Let's see. Let's see how good or how bad this thing looks. It's always hit or miss with the airplane food. Oh, that looks good. Now, Gladys, she went with the the vegan cat time. I didn't know this was vegan because I like the meat. Let's see how it looks. Oh, oh that looks pretty boring. <laughs> I'll take you to go eat a real pad capra today. I kill my vibe. I want to eat my real pad capra, my secret. What is that, tofu? No way. I don't like tofu. Well, what do you think plant-based is? <laughs> They I swear we ordered chicken. From Burger King. <laughs> I'm gonna screw it. No, I cannot Taste see it though, see if it's good. Uh, of course, we also got some Coke Zero as well. Oh. Wow, is this really tough? <laughs> I, I, is it good? It's very spicy. Now it's starting the spiciness in my life in Thailand. I thought I was the spiciness in your life. No, you are loveness. Loveness. <laughs> She's so funny. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to Marwin's restaurant to eat some Panka Prao there in Bangkok and to my secret place. Just made it off the plane and man, to be honest, I slept the entire time. So did Gladys. We made it. And yes, right away you can feel the heat. I was just joking with Gladys. I was like, oh man, back to the cold weather. But it's 34 degrees Celsius here. Something like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Super hot. But yes, we're back. And look at all the beautiful decorations. All of the Thai art. Oh man, it feels so good to be back here. And it feels so good to be back here without all those um, COVID booths that we saw last time. Yeah. Well, hopefully. We'll see right now because Gladys can't find her vaccine cards. Where do you think they are? You have them. You think I have them? Yes. Every time she can't find something, it's because I hide it. But yeah, here we are. BKK Airport. Right now, I'm actually going to show you guys how to get a SIM card. We're going to pull out some money. And then we're going to jump into a grab and make our way to our hotel. We're actually staying in the Ratchadai area, close to Rama 9, which is where we um, always stay when we come here because our favorite malls are there, our favorite food course, night markets. Such a great area. Um, and it's also not super touristic, so we very much love being in that area. But I'll show you guys all of that right now once we make it past immigration because no immigration like seeing the camera. 
they always start tripping when you're filming oh look there's a couple of decorations here on the walls you got a temple oh wow that's beautiful another art piece so good to be back immigration was an absolute breeze now this here is the atm i always use i don't know how to pronounce the name but kasi corn thai kasi corn thai and they have like the best the best rates and the best fees usually they only charge me around three us dollars to withdraw money and my bank actually doesn't charge me anything to use an atm so um very blessed to have that now i think i'm actually gonna withdraw let's do twenty thousand because i'm gonna be here for a while which is only what six hundred dollars okay um except without currency conversion guys if you always want to save a little bit of money on your conversion um always deny accepting the conversion rate so i just pulled out 600 bucks that should last us um the three weeks that we're here because i've already paid for accommodation and everything else all right so this here is what ty bought looks like baby these are all thousands and they of course have the king on the front and on the back i'm not sure who that is the younger king this, the king and the dad oh yeah this is the dad so yeah you got the money oh the card guys you know how many times I've left my card at an ATM when I first get to a country? It's terrible. Actually, when I met Gladys in Mexico for the very first time, I had left my card in the, in the ATM at a Walmart right as soon as I arrived. And yeah, the whole time it was a headache trying to get cash. But um, yeah, definitely always double check the ATM before you walk off. All right, let's see this. Oh man, so many great memories. Every time I come up in here. Now this is actually right next to the baggage claim. We got a little bit till the bags come out. Are all of the SIM cards. I actually really like um, this D uh, the, the Axis 5G cards and the true um, ID cards. I mean SIM cards. All right, let's see what, what kind of deal we can score here. Oh man, the airport's kind of empty too, huh? Kill the 20. Okay, so we're number 20. All right, let's grab ourselves a SIM card. Let's see what kind of package. Hello. What kind of package do you have for um, 30 days? Oh, this one. We have two plan here, so This one, unlimited with high speed 5G. This one, 4G with unlimited. Okay, um, this is unlimited, like you can, you, you can watch YouTube and everything? Sure. Okay, can we do two of these cards? Thank you. Can I have your passport in your phone, please? Yes, of course. So not bad at all. Around 30 US dollars for a SIM card for 30 days of unlimited internet and calling. And of course, you get a local SIM card. Oh, it works already. Very fast. Oh, yeah, the case. Thank you. All right. So now we just got to wait for baggage. And then I'm going to order myself a grab to make my way over to the hotel. Both bags made it. That is amazing news. Now I'm ordering the grab. And yeah, this is usually a pretty easy process as well. All right choose arrival exit nine choose this pickup oh and it still has my card on file but you know what we're gonna pay cash because i know they like that and let's see we're gonna go with the the premium why not let's see what happens let's see how long we gotta wait usually this is pretty fast now they do have like official um taxis as well but they tend to be a little bit more expensive all right 10 minutes He's picking us up at arrival exit nine. Awesome. Let's head on outside. You good to go? But yeah, these here are like the official taxis that you can also take. They cost roughly a thousand to get you to like um, Rama Nine, which is where we're going to. But the Grab costs six hundred, and I definitely recommend taking Grab. I mean, it's always super easy okay so there's exit number 10 here's exit number nine that's where our, where our grab driver is meeting us up but look there's also some more taxis over here that you can take a whole lot more atm sim cards everywhere no thailand super easy to travel to i mean they also have free wi-fi for one hour no phone number needed thank god because i hate those airports that you arrive to you need a phone number to connect all right based off of experience Oh man, you smell that? Tell me you smell that. Thai food. Oh my god. 
Wow, where's that coming from? Man, that smells amazing. There's probably a bank. Yeah, we're going straight to Lotus right now, our favorite shopping center, to go get some food as soon as we arrive. Hey, you know what? What? We forgot something. What? Thailand. <laughs> Thailand is amazing. Thailand. <laughs> Thailand is a country. Hey, hey. You need to go to sleep, girl. All right. This here is where our grab driver is going to pick us up. Let me uh, put the camera down and then we're going to wait for him to pull up. Hello. Oh man, it's so hot. It is brutal out here. It's I'm so hot, huh? I'm saying Aquatica to everybody. I'm going to show you my song, guys. Thailand. Thailand is amazing. This is the best country ever. Say hey. Los Aguatica. Thank you. That is Capunca. Sing with me, Thailand. Thailand is amazing. This is the best country ever. We're gonna eat some paka prao and also this girl, some This pad girl thai. turned this vlog into a mixtape. Alright. Um, it said that the crab should be here in about six minutes. I'll see you guys once he shows up. I gotta take the bag off. It's so hot. Woo! But Wait, it feels so good to, go to be to back. The Grand Palace. <laughs> yeah, true. That's one of the hottest places in the city. Alright. We're back in Thailand, baby. And the grab is here. This here is our driver. Oh, so much better inside of the car. All right, now we got about a 35 minute journey to the hotel. All right, we're just making it to the hotel now, but one thing I totally forgot about was all of the crazy traffic here in Bangkok. So it did take us about 40 minutes to make it on out here, but we're here. This is the Ratchada neighborhood of the city. By far one of my favorite places to um, base myself out of when in Bangkok. You're gonna find a lot of the local night markets nearby, a lot of shopping centers. The um, metro system is actually runs right along the streets. I believe it's the blue line that pretty much con connects you to all of the sky trains. You can take the buses, taxis to literally everywhere. And there's so many different hotels, but I always stay in this one right here, the EB styles. Oh, you can't see it. There it goes. It's popping out. This is where I like to call home when I come to Bangkok. So um, right now we're pulling in. Um, I'll get checked in and then I'll show you guys around the room before I bring in this little video to an end. But let me know what you guys thought about the travel day. I know that I didn't record a whole lot of plane footage because that's what happens when you get stuck in the middle seat. But um, it was still very much enjoyable. And I'm back in one of my favorite places in the world. Bazaar. Oh yeah, bazaar happening across the street. Tuk tuk. All right, this here is where we're staying. EB Styles Bangkok Ratchada. Oh man, the air conditioning. You can always feel it in Thailand as soon as the doors open. Oh man, what a beautiful, beautiful lobby. It looks like they actually uh, did some remodeling in here. All right, we're gonna get checked in. Like they got a little play place for the children. Hello. How are you? Good, good, thank you. She's getting us checked in right now, but look at this place, guys. This here is the lobby. Super beautiful, spacious, lots of places to work, which I really like. They got a bar area, and then this here is the restaurant. This is actually where the breakfast takes place every morning as well. Such a beautiful hotel and very affordable as well. I believe right now the nights are ranging between 40 to 60 US dollars a night depending on which room you choose. Definitely a nice place in a centric area that I highly recommend. Now the rooms actually include breakfast as I mentioned in this area, but here they actually give us two free welcome drinks. One for me, one for Gladys on the rooftop. We should save that for sunset for sure. Oh, almost fell on over. All right, now we're going to head on upstairs. I can help you. You're no, it's okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. There's also a spa in here as well too. Let's Relax Spa, one of Gladys' favorite places. That's the best spa. Man, they got an amazing facility. Not only um, all around Bangkok, but they have them all also. All around Thailand. Oh, oh, the free drink coupon. Oh, what's up? It's what? right there. Oh. Yeah, it's right there under your feet. Oh. All right, we're on the 10th floor. <laughs> Actually, I think I gotta take this from the package. Okay. There we go. I can help you with that. Yeah, there you go. You hold on to those because I'll lose those before. 
before we even get checked in. All right, let's head upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the room, and then I'm gonna shower up, and we're gonna go eat that pad cup prow. Oh yes, please, pad cup prow, kapakicha, kapunka. <laughs> this is her favorite place in the world, guys. I'm it's so everybody's happy. favorite place in the world. When you come to Thailand, you never want to leave, and then every other place you get to, you're like, yeah, this is nice, but this is in me. Thailand. You know what? Because Thailand, Thailand is amazing. What room no number are we in? I am so happy. Let's go over the direction. It's a ten eighteen. Well, you can't read, babe. It's the other direction. Oh. Ten eighteen. <laughs> She's funny. I'm tired, guys. I'm so exhausted. Over in this direction. Wow, look, they got a little patio area. Now, this is a smoking-free hotel, though, so um, they do have designated smoking areas outside. But inside, no-go. All right. Oh, this bag is heavy, too. Gladys packed so much stuff. This bag literally weighs 30 kilos, guys. All right, this is our room. Hello. Oh, oh man. Whew. Feels so good to be in here. Wow, a lot different than the place we just got done sleeping at in Tokyo, huh? Wow. So this here is our room, guys. We got a television, a queen size bed, a bathroom. Here's the toilet. Actually, let's turn on the, oh. What am I doing? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, this place is awesome, super cozy. I like it. Oh, nice little view of the city as well. Not bad, huh guys? All right, we're gonna get all cozied up. We got the television, waters, my favorite water bottle logo. Oh, the tank with elephants from Chiang Mai. <laughs> all right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this travel day. I know it was a bit a bit dull, but guys, I'm exhausted and I actually woke up like with a mean headache that didn't go away at all today. So did Gladys and I have a bad hair day, so I'm going to shower. Then I got to go meet up with my friend Mitch. He's actually downstairs on the seventh floor and we're going to take this day to relax, but plenty of videos to come from Thailand. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for your singing and your support in this video, Gladys. Of course, I hope you guys enjoy the singing and learn the song for the time you come to Thailand. You want to hear singing Thailand? Thailand is amazing. Thailand, Thailand the best country. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>